I'm liking the return of the Zero Suit mains. Like, they're getting confidence again in their character. As, as, especially after watching, like, Mars win Genesis with the character. Yeah. That was... So you can't say this character sucks anymore. <laughs> especially Mars. <laughs> Mars is insane. <laughs> Now, Zero Suit's a very fast character. In terms of speed, she can out-camp you, I'd say. And just, like, run and gun, you know. And set up in her combo setup from her spiking, like her grounded spiking, you know, down B. Or her long-reaching moves. That puts you in a lot of hit stun that just, like, allow her to combo off of it. I mean, she's in the Zare there, going in there. Well, Villager is also a character that has his setups from his item play. They're kind of zonerish. ish you know? He can trap you and put you in certain setups that can you know, get a stock off really fast. With bowling ball, tree, axe. A lot of scary stuff to, to deal with. Nice use of the tree right there to take the first stock. Bankai may have a rough time trying to fight Pokeland right here. You can't just simply run in there and hit him as Pokeland's doing a good job of keeping him out. Solid back here taking him off stage. Is he gonna chase him? Nope. Too far. Uh, almost got him on the two frame right there. Now the one thing they nerfed about Zero Suit from the last match. Uh, the last patch is how long you stay buried after she buries you, but she should probably still be able to get her follow-ups off of it. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> he took a solid forward from that jab. Ooh. <laughs> uh, dancing around him, but he's not getting much off of his moves. And the bowling ball trade's gonna take it. Wow. Pokemon playing super solid right now. Ooh. Chasing him. Good, good. The whiff upbeat. Oh, not much of a punch because he didn't get the right turnips. At the very, oh. he's gonna take it. Sure will, yes. Bankai. My goodness, uh, doing Drexel proud there, do you, Bankai? Uh, yes, it's a uh, part of the one of the people that is uh, starting to grow that esports organization. They have some really good. Uh, they have some really good models after which to uh, to emulate themselves, such as NGIT and uh, and Rutgers, just in the tri-state area, but. Bankai flying that flag proudly against Pokelam, however, at a two to one uh, st whole stock oh. deficit here. Shielding that jab, it is, uh, you can just pile on the damage so quickly with that. It is deceptive. Yeah, and set up too, as he, oh, the force match Beautifully is gonna, done. Not gonna take it too far. Well, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, just a little, uh, just the wrong way, that's all it is. The right shield move. was almost broken for that setup, you see that? Oh my gosh, that you got to be sick. careful of that. We've seen that a few too many times, but and Enzo, however... And the shield option from beautiful. the axe, chopping yep. him off. <laughs> Lop off the head of the beast, and oh. there you go. Pokeland, you know what? I don't I don't care about the whole designation of Wi-Fi Warrior. I don't know. I, I don't know about any of that. All I know is that he is sitting in winner's final against someone who is currently PR'd in Philadelphia, and... Uh, of course, former New York PR as well, as we take a look at the uh, MXC Impact replay there. Yeah, that's an axe <laughs> to the kneecap. That is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, yeah, man, that'll, that'll that'll sever a tendon or two. You don't want that. But uh, nonetheless, as uh, Bankai sitting, uh, finds himself in a predicament, has not fought a high-quality villager in quite some time. Of course, uh, Enzo uh, from Philadelphia, oh, the now Philadelphia okay. number one, has a villager in his pocket to go to Battlefield for game number two. Lights, camera, action, and Ooh. Enzo uh, does pretty good with the uh, does pretty good with the villager when he breaks him out. It's uh, just uh, you don't see it all that often, just because it turns out Joker might be a little bit more he's, applicable he's in everyday life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as Ooh. we see. Oh, oh those nares, beautiful. <laughs> it's getting all the faults in the world off that. I right, mean, Bankai bringing a little bit better with this battlefield pick. You can juggle him on this platform as he's doing so. Yeah, absolutely. This is going to be a contest. You're gonna you're gonna see these characters in the air a lot, for certain. However, oh, Chase, no, oh, looking for the looking for the whip. 
Good slingshot attempt into grab, however, whiffing on that. The right That's idea is just jump. wrong time. Oh, Beautifully caught right on there. the platform with that forward smash. I mean, got to be one of the most powerful in the game in the projectile properties. The strongest, of course. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a bowling ball, man. What do you want? <laughs> now, I noticed that in, animal, in the Animal Crossing games, I don't even think you have a bowling ball. That's uh, I don't think there's a bowling ball in any of them. Oh, Goodness that's gracious! Not gonna take it. Mid stage, mid stage. No going rage, to boost his chances. Not going to boost the stock off of uh, Poke Lamb. Poke Lamb took his best to stall his recovery mm. there, getting caught out of shit. There you go. Nice. Baits out the option, uh, gets the roll, and gets the kill off of that boost kick. I'm trying to not call it rocket kick anymore, <laughs> Philadelphia. Sorry about that. <laughs> you good? You good? All right. So, oh. Bonkai is still keeping it close this game. He has to get his right hits off the off the platform right here, like as he was doing in, in the previous stock, just to contest here, and percentage wise. You know, the luxury about ZSS is that there really are many different ways yeah, that you can play her. It's not like you're married to one speed like you would be to say Greninja or something like that. You can you can play a defensive movement based movement oriented game with her, and that might be the uh, that might be what the doctor ordered to deal with this villager. However, I mean, this is Bankai we're talking about. He knows how to play one way, and while his adaptability is good, you just don't like to see him deviate from those game plans all that good often. Tech. Oh no, we tech those in New York, apparently. <laughs> Welcome. All right. He's officially a citizen of Texas now, however. The berry not oh, going to get the punish. Time. Oh, that is unfortunate. Now, what do you see Bankai having to do here in order to get himself back into the set? Because he's even right now, but, you know, one hit, one misplaced landing, getting caught by the F-Smash, that'll do it for him. So what does he need to do here in order to keep himself competitive? Uh, not oh do that, my. first of all. And oh, <laughs> second, yeah, you're right. he's got to get him in a, on a platform so, some way or somehow. Just not fall for any of the tricks that Pokemon's trying to pull out here. And, Watch the way he jumps, because Pokemon's stuffing it every time he approaches, and he's whipping Ooh. his again. He's trying to read something. Oh, that almost was yep. lethal for his percentage. Yeah, would have uh, would have piled on the percentage points without a doubt. I don't foresee him going for one of those for quite some time. He's gonna take that chip damage instead with those nares. Beautiful there. Oh, nares. He needs to do something here real quick to take the stock off. That's a good back air. Not gonna take it though. Yeah. That back air, maybe not quite as forgiving a hitbox as, uh, as say, Smash 4 on uh, Bankai Zen, as it does eventually take the stock off, sitting at 63%. He's a few good combos away here, but it's, uh, again, winning these neutral interactions seems to be what's plaguing him here. Yeah. Pokemon very prepared to catch every jump he's going for here and taking all this damage away from him. Ooh. Taking... Very... Like any approach he's trying is this this is rough. And he's putting these bowling balls out there just to catch and Yeah, yeah. Oh, I this could do it, this could do it. Honestly, oh. I thought it was Isabel that was supposed to have the stop <laughs> sign, not Villager, but here you are with the metaphorical just <laughs> stop where you are. Uh, I mean villager's so good at disrupting momentum can uh, turn you uh, turn your best weapons against you, your best qualities against you real quickly, and he is about one three turn up up arrow away Watch from losing this thing. Okay, good, good follow up. Timing out his approaches very well. However, I mean, he's turning this into a bullet hell as Poke Lamb. And I hope he played a little bit of Cuphead while he was uh, <laughs> on his way here. And Bankai. grounded here. He could die to any of these. Well shielded. However, he's not letting he's not letting him get these edge guards for free. And, you know, mixing up the timing. Poke Lamb, I mean, he's a student of the game and it's showing here. Very patient from Pokemon, not, not panicking in these situations too, not rolling or giving Bankai an edge. Exactly, throwing out those projectiles, I know exactly, oh, I may that? not know where you're going, but I know exactly where you're not going to go, and I will challenge <laughs> you if your feet ever dare touch the ground, oh. as Poke Lamb, oh, looking for the shield. S smash! Not quite going to get it, Bankai! That 4B oh. is taking it, oh wow, I, what I a feel close like, game. I feel like that might have been a read, I don't know if he was 100% sure that they were going to come down off of the platform, taking a look at that replay. Yo, take that and we'll wind it back as we take a look here. <laughs> yeah, he Gets up on the platform and you can see like Bankai, he wants to go, he wants that uh, He wants that route in, but the 80. one time, <laughs> the one time Poke Lamb decides to come down and maybe overstep his boundaries a little bit, he's there waiting with the uh, with the plasma whip. Definitely, as Bankai was trying to get these stocks off with these up and such, you just had to 
keep a little patient right there, yeah. play a little more grounded. He got what he wanted, like eventually with that back air, and eventually closing it out with the side B after the yeah. blocking that. That was just they, they were just intense. trading haymakers at the end, and as you see the replay, catching the uh, yeah, right at the end. Right there. Didn't go through the platform, decided to go around it, but uh, eventually that's a stock take for Bankai, and that is a one-one game. And you know how we do it, Zeno. It's best of three, so. Sir, not on that was, a though, uh, that was a wild assumption of me. I know I'm used to, I'm used to watching the weeklies here. Just on TV slash no, this, 3, this is like, yeah, of course. <laughs> here at Zeno Saga, we're gonna have three to five finals for our finals, respectively. So, probably top eight, probably top eight as well if we have enough time. Or... Which is the next round. I mean, one of these, uh, one of these fine gentlemen going to have uh, going to have their ticket punched. Definitely so. Definitely By being so. declared the winner of this game here on Smashville, game number three. I noticed that uh, Bankai taking this to Smashville over here, though, like one constant platform compared to three that he had to deal with. But... Bankai. Oh, man. Yo, did wow. you see him murder that balloon? <laughs> yeah, they, that was they nuts. Were <laughs> Actually, yo. Like one of them had to go. <laughs> there are now 98 uh, Luft balloons. Sorry about that. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. That was beautifully angled by Bankai. And enough and time he... to get the kill. That's still good. That's still, it's still good. It's uh, I don't know if you call that serendipitous or planned out, but either way, that's Bankai securing the stock. However, Pokenlam securing right it right back with the back air. Oops. Oh, the 40 oh, to 40. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, nice uh, falling up air Oof. to get this follow up right here. That's why you don't mess with trees, man. I'm sorry. It's Three people in Lord of the Rings, they were G's. Again, clanking with that forward smash with the up B, timing it right just to like grab it, grab the ledge. Good oh, man. Awareness from Bankai. Yeah, knowing that he can throw some options out, knowing that, you know, trying to judge the distance, seeing exactly at what point those things uh, are going to have to hit him. He knows that the onus is on him to disprove Pokeland's assertion, and that is that you cannot approach me, you cannot touch me, and you cannot break my defenses efficiently enough before I take three stops from that you. That almost reached. This is really on Bankai to prove here, and Pokeland is uh, not deviating from his game plan at all, playing an exceptionally patient game. True that as Bankai as well, not keeping, like, not giving Pokeland these jumps like at all times. So Pokeland's still sniping him off of every jump. Misses Ooh. the setup. No kill yet. I don't know Ooh. if I've ever seen a, uh, a villager do this in Ultimate yet, but is the water gimp still there? Yeah. You, like, you get hit you by the water and off. you can't grab the ledge? Yeah, but I, I don't know if he wants to, if he can go for it here in this situation. I mean, it looks like he prefers the setup because he's putting the tree right there. Yeah. That, that was more a general question, no. admittedly, just because I'm a, I'm a dork and I like <laughs> those things. No, that's fine. <laughs> I like my combo videos. What can I say? <laughs> With a fourth Good grab take and a fourth throw. Sniping Beautiful. him with the side B right there, taking him off that very exploitable-ish Lloyd rocket. Yeah, oh. now that Lloyd had nowhere to go, and eventually neither did Pokelim, aside from into the blast zone. Now down to his winner side throw. stock, yeets him out of existence, and now at six percent, this is incredibly doable. Or Pokelam, and oh no, he's gonna go for some. Yeah, he had bad intentions in mind. You saw it <laughs> in his like, face. Come to this tree right now. <laughs> You're getting snuffed. <laughs> meet me. Meet me in the park. I want to see you in the park, bro. <laughs> Ooh, nice follows from Bankai over here. He's taking it to him. The confirms into F Smash. I mean, they've come into handy for uh, for Bankai quite a few times in the past. Certainly doing so here. Oh, he's got to be in position to take advantage of those missed grabs, though. That, I mean, that's the thing that Pokelam is going to have to be careful of, is that if you whiff on the... Oh, <laughs> with the net! <laughs> Almost good. <laughs> oh, again? Because I was, oh, I was rudely interrupted by that F-Smash. What can I say? He's just scared, Bankai. I'm, I'm scared, too. Like, I, I don't want to land on this. <laughs> this is it's very scary to land on. Any, any of those things Ooh. can kill. The tree, the bowling ball, the potential axe you can throw out, too, out of shield. Absolutely. Oh. Pokelam, however, oh, beautifully held onto with the shield. Good Bankai. patience from Bankai. Oh, yeah. nice jumping just to avoid getting buried there. I mean, Pokelam, I do feel like telegraphed that a little bit in terms of uh, the timing he was looking for. He's getting these back airs uh, with relative consistency. Both however, one hit away. Ooh. Good of Bankai to. Oh, almost chasing him with the little rocket. Now, Pokelam is, uh, is doing good to stay out of the. Uh, the general lanes of commute that ZSS likes to travel. That's uh, if only uh, all New York drivers were so uh, <laughs> were so courteous. Oh, the flip what? kick! Oh, okay. Beautifully DI by Pokelam. 
Ooh, he's in the wall jump. Attack! Amazing tech. Wow, that was absolutely no, clutch! The back oh, throw is going he to he do was it! Roll. He got caught in the roll poke Lamb. Amazing. That was fantastic a close game from both players right there. That was intense. It's fast paced, like. Absolutely a great effort by both players. Ultimately, in the words of the Highlander, there can be only one. <laughs> and course. it was Pokelam <laughs> punching the I mean he's gonna have to grind that axe, and he's uh, certainly got an axe to grind, folks.